What's going on Port fans? Welcome back to another video on my channel. And today we're going to be previewing round 16, Port Adelaide versus North Melbourne at Metricon Stadium this Saturday night. We are, we're kicking off round 16 with this uh, Footy Frenzy 2.0 happening once again. Um, so we're the first and only game on Saturday, which is going to be a very interesting um, thing to take in because there's no other football on the day. And We've got a prime time slot against North Melbourne who aren't in the greatest of form at the moment. So let's preview this game and see exactly how I think it'll pan out. It's first versus 17th on the AFL ladder, both pretty much the opposite ends of the spectrum. And you could easily say North Melbourne are probably the worst in form team in the comp at the moment. They're just struggling to find any bit of consistency in their game. And they lost Ben Brown for the rest of the year as well. Uh, due to a knee injury. So a big, big out for Ben Brown, although he hasn't been playing too much of late. Anyway, it's going to be a, uh, an interesting task at Metricon Stadium, but it's one of those things that do uh, that does scare me, is the fact that North Melbourne have come off such a horrible and uh, embarrassing loss to Gold Coast last week that they're going to come into this week's game with a little bit of a... Uh, how could I say it? Look at it a little bit rolled up, I reckon. I mean, it's the same story as last year. Um, they came into the game against Port at the Adelaide Oval, Anzac Ground, and they gave us a good fight. And then we went into round 22 last year with the same story as well coming in. They needed to prove a point north, and did they ever with their new coach, um, Ree Shaw. So, yeah, Metricon Saturday night. It's a d different story once again. North Melbourne are probably in a worse form than what they have been in quite a while, but... They're coming into this game. They're going to want to prove a point and show, you know, they still want to play footy and then that their players are wanting to prove a point to themselves that, you know, last week was a one-off type situation. We're better than this. And there have been a lot of scrutiny in the media for North about their players and the handling of Jared Pollock in particular, who's been playing um, in, the, well, in the reserves for Collingwood, um, which... You know, it's such a 2020 thing because of the restrictions and, um, you know, the limited amount of scratch matches that certain teams have available to play. So, in this instance, Jared Pollock, one of the bigger names at the footy club on the probably the most money, a big contract signing uh, to come into 2019. And he's, he's, he's sitting on his ass watching the team play and get absolutely pumped by Gold Coast. Same with Ben Brown, Jasper Pittard's not out there. So, do these players come back in and... They want to show off and prove a point to themselves that you know they're good enough at football that their club's not giving them enough opportunities and not grinding it out because Pollock certainly wasn't in the worst of form when he was dropped. So either they're making a statement with him to the other players and it's not working or, yeah, they're just being, well, the selection's just not on. Um, so it'll be fascinating to see how North Melbourne approach at this week's game and for us, I think Port Adelaide mostly just need to approach it as another week, as another task and another opportunity to bank four more points to continue the run of sitting at the top of the table. I said this during the week. I'm more than happy with the grinding wins. You know, the 26-point win against Sydney where we pretty much dominated the day. But we had our little lapses here and there and they just kept them in the game. Then you've got, you know, games against Hawthorne where we're just coming off a really bad loss to Geelong and we grinded out another win. We went perfect. If we can slowly build these games into four-quarter performances by the time we hit finals, then I'm more than, I'm more than happy because I know our four-quarter performance from Port Adelaide is just about as good as anyone, especially if we show up. And I think that's what we're going to have to bring. Uh, I think we do need to bring a lot more intensity around the footy this week because I know North Melbourne can be, uh, can be quite fierce around the ball and they do, some do have some hard nuts there. And, you know, with Goldstein in the ruck, they're, they're able to um, pinpoint, you know, s certain plays. And I reckon they could show up a bit better than what Port can in the midfield if North Melbourne do switch it on. And that's where we'll just have to be ultra-defensive when it comes down to it. And we know our back six is good enough. We're going to gain Houston this week from his, uh, back from his COVID ban, uh, which is a massive improvement. Most likely Bonner will probably go out for him, I'd say. And that basically perfectly sets up our back six with Burton, DBJ, McKenzie, Jonas, Cleary and Hartlett with Houston running through there. Um, and, you know, he's going to run through the midfield as well. He's a slick ball mover. We probably lacked that a little bit of late. And I reckon 
he just adds a different dynamic once again. And we did miss him, I think. I feel like he just adds a little bit more, a little bit extra, as I said, down back and also in the midfield. So I feel that could be a good addition if um, if Bonnock does go out, then Houston comes back. And he deserves his spot, nonetheless, Houston. I know he had that uh, incident with the COVID breach, but he's, he's a good enough player. He's in our 22 and... He serves, served his right whack, and hopefully he now pays his teammates and his supporters and the club back by putting in solid performances on the field. So expect him to have a fire, fire in his belly when he comes out Saturday night. But overall, this game is just... It should be pretty straightforward for Port Adelaide. That's the overall statement of this. is It should be a simple task. Rock up to Metricon. Put the foot down. I'd like to see a pretty decent win. Gain a bit of percentage back and... We know North will come out and probably have a pretty fierce first half and we'll have to weather that storm but also counteract that and bring our own fire. Just run away with it in the end because I feel like that's the type of game that we could. I do not want to see an upset um, and that's something that we have to have in the back of our minds. North Melbourne did nearly get over the line against Brisbane. They have been competitive besides that one game against Gold Coast so... There is, it's going to be in the back of our minds, I know. And the scars from last year's horrific performance at Marvel will still be there for a lot of the players. We're definitely, we're better on paper. We're better on the ground. We've had Charlie Dixon and Sam Power Pepper sign new contracts this week. The energy levels around the club should be really high and positive And the vibe should just be, we want to play football now. We want to get out there and um, show off why we're top of the table. And it's... Beating North Melbourne won't get talked about too much in the outside aspects, but internally, it's must win. It's an it's it's so crucial to win these types of games and win them well, because Hawthorne they're pretty competitive, right? They did lose to Adelaide, but they have been competitive before that. And then we played Sydney, who I think have been pretty competitive as well. And we're grinding out those wins, and I think now we need a we need a win that needs to click everything together. Just so we go into next week against Essendon and Collingwood the week after, feeling like we've got we've got that mojo. You know, you always want to go into finals feeling like you've got a mojo. We're going to have a break and then get stuck into the, the four-week block of finals where anything can happen. The game itself is important, as I said. I think we'll beat them on paper. The midfield's definitely, definitely too good. We'll... We'll probably outrun us, outrun them as well. You know, Dersma, Butters, Rosie, Amon. You know, these types of players in and around the mix, uh, along with Boke, who runs all day. Uh, Ollie Wines is in pretty good nick at the moment. Tom Rockcliffe is fine and plenty of the footy. Sam Palpeva obviously just signed a contract, and he's in some very good form at the moment. His consistency is unreal. And then Big Charlie down forward. Um, you'll probably see that. He might get teamed a bit more this week because uh, North Melbourne do have a pretty tall defensive unit. Uh, but I do feel like Todd Marshall, once again, that Marshall effect, drag him out and keep Charlie uh, reserved deep because we saw what he did against Sydney. He's one of the better players on the day. He's probably the best player on the day for us alongside Robbie Gray. So just going to be wary. Got to be smart. Who am I tipping for this week? Well, I'm tipping Port Adelaide by 42 points. Um, and it probably won't be 42 points because, you know, we seem to play these types of game where we just grind out and win by four or five goals. But I think we'll switch it on this week. Metricon, Saturday night, prime time. Um, only game for the day. And we have a set, we've had another seven day break. We should be pretty, fer pretty fresh, I'd say, um, after that earlier block where we were playing pretty close footy. So I, I can see us doing a good job. And Charlie will kick five, I reckon. There's me hot tip for the week. Charlie Dixon kick five. I don't know, both 30 possessions. Something crazy like that. So if you're creating a multi, don't listen to me. But yeah, something to keep in mind. Well, Port fans, that wraps up my round 16 preview of Port Adelaide versus North Melbourne. Let me know in the comments below what you're thinking about this one. Who are you tipping and who do you reckon will be best on ground? Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new for plenty more Port Adelaide and AFL content. Plenty of feel-good stories around at the moment, so make sure you check them out as well. My name is Anthony, and as always, come the pair.